entrance Anathon, behold, the Lord will come, descending with splendor to visit his people with peace, and he will bestow on them eternal life. Good morning. This morning's Mass has been offered for us and our families, and in particular, Beverly Fry Ruther. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brother and sister, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most great fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant that your people, we pray, Almighty God, may be ever merciful for the coming of your only begotten Son. That is the author of our salvation himself and for us, we may hasten, alert, and with heightened lamps to meet him when he comes, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I, the Lord your God, teach you what is for your good and lead you on the way you should go. If you would hearken to my commandments, your prosperity would be like a river and your vindication like the waves of the sea. Your descendants will be like the sand and those born of your stock like its grain. Their name never cut off or blotted out from my presence. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Thus the Lord. The Lord will come, go out to meet him. He is the Prince of Peace. Jesus said to the crowd, To what shall I compare this generation? It is like children who sit in marketplaces and call to one another. We played a flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He is possessed by a demon. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they said, Look, he is a glutton and a drunken, a friend of tax collectors and sinners, but wisdom is vindicated by her, by her works. 
the gospel of the Lord. Would you or other people consider you to be a radical? That depends on which of the several definitions of radicals one uses. One definition of radical is irrational. Another definition should be thorough going or extreme, especially as we go change from accepted or traditional forms. The definition which may want to consider is the root of the original. It is based on the Latin derivation of radical, which is radius. Radius means the root. We should all be radical in the sense that we are rooted in something, or better, in our Lord Jesus Christ and His heavenly Father in the union with the Holy Spirit. We need to sink our roots deeply into the Lord Jesus Christ. It is then that we will be able to draw life sustaining essential so that we can keep on living the way the Lord Jesus Christ and His heavenly Father desire us to live. As we continue with our Advent journey, we reflect on the idea that those who follow the Lord Jesus Christ will produce a rich profit. God speaking through the prophet Isaiah promised to reward and bless those who have been willing to walk in God's way. The psalmist today also compares those who do God's will to a tree that is planted near the source of living, giving water. Growth and good fruit are produced by the trees which are nourished by the life giving tree. In the Gospel, Jesus is aware that he cannot make certain people understand God's message and be satisfied with how we, some people, live out their relationship with God. As we close to the Christmas time, let us prepare ourselves worthily to celebrate his rebirth on earth. And we seek to walk in God's way, we bring this prayer and this before Him with confidence in His wisdom and care. For leaders of the church, may they be guided by God's wisdom in all they do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are prayer. For local, national, and world leaders, may God give them the grace to move away from any hypocrisy and be guided instead by truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are prayer. For those traveling the long road of grief, may they know Christ's presence and rest in confidence that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayer. For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our stars. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now we say the prayer for protection and healing from coronavirus. Loving Jesus. You travel through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. Come to our aid in the midst of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Hear those who are sick with the virus, may they regain their strength and health. Bring those who have died from the virus to eternal peace. Protect doctors, nurses, and healthcare professionals as they help the sick. Guard researchers to develop vaccines. Be with leaders of nations. Give them wisdom to act with due concern for their people. Stay by our side in this time of uncertainty, anxiety, and sorrow. Pray not your peace. We pray this in your most holy name, Jesus. 
for you are only in healing. Our Lady of Ramsaka, St. Joseph, St. Francis Xavier, St. Ralph, and St. Rosalie, pray for us. Amen. A family prayer. Loving and faithful God, through the years of people of heart sciences, have appreciated the prayers and love of Our Lady of Ramsaka in times of war, disaster, epidemic, and illness. We come to you, Father, with Mary on our number, and ask you to help us the battle of today against violence, murder, and racism. We implore you to give us your wisdom, that we may build a community founded on the values of Jesus, which gives respect to the life and dignity of all people. Bless parents, that they may form their children in faith. Bless and protect our youth, that they may be peacemakers of our time. Give consolation to those who have lost the one through violence. Hear our prayer and give us the perseverance to be a voice for life and human dignity in our community. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Our Lady of Ramsaka, Jason Dalmas, Mother Henry and Delil, pray for us, that we may be a holy man. Blessed is the Lord God of all creatures, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and book of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Praise my brother and sister, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the mighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offering, and since we had no merit to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed on his first coming the loneliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all his at last make manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope, and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the name of your glory, as we now end, we are God. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took breath and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when suffers was ended, he took a chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave this to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. 
there is a memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we did this life and treat this life, we proclaim the death of Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you may have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brother and sister who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you for our ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may pray to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the same command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously pray peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and set for all Israel, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity. In accordance with your will, we live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Let us take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold He who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed is the one who calls to the supper of the Lamb. We await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our mortal bodies to conform with his glorified body.
Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, we, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hope firm in the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke you, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast it without Satan, and all the evil spirit who prowl about the world, seeking the roots of souls.